Today we're going to help you improve in Rainbow Six Siege by taking a look at peeking. Specifically we're going to look how to counter it and how to stop that frustration at being taken out before you get into the building. All this coming right up. Hi everyone, welcome back to Enough is Enough, Ace of Pyrite with you again and today I'm bringing you what could probably be described as a bit of an extension to the map guide but what we're doing is looking at more in-depth gameplay and helping you. So as you saw there on the beginning video we're looking at peaking today, quite a controversial subject, some people are for it, some against, personally I have no issue with peaking, as long as it's not straight out of spawn and people have got a chance to defend themselves or take cover then ultimately I think it's their responsibility. As you can see from the footage playing here X is just having a look out of that window and people are just making no effort whatsoever to defend themselves and really you know ultimately that's on them so especially with the lighting changes we're seeing this get more and more popular so what we're going to look to do is go through just some ways to counter that peeking and how to sort of prevent yourself being the easy kill to the peekers. First thing we're going to do then is just have a look at a couple of pieces of footage which really help to demonstrate what I'm saying here. So as you can see I'm playing Ella, we're on a cafe map and I'm just having a little look to see what's going on. We're still in the preparation phase so quite common you're going to see that windows doors getting knocked out even when somebody's not preparing to peek because it just makes it difficult to know where they are looking from. So there I am looking over the market spawn and you're going to see how easy people make this. That's a silly move from me there. I obstruct my view quite a bit really and I could have probably had two or three of them quite easily. But I get the kill there and that's just spurring my team on. Now I'm just going to freeze the video there because I can feel some of you probably sat there watching this at home thinking he's spawn peeking and getting triggered by it. But what's going to follow is a second piece of gameplay footage where I actually spawn in market and somebody tries to peek me from bakery. And I'm going to show you why I have no problem with peekers in this game because ultimately the responsibility is on me as an attacker to keep myself in cover and to approach and keep myself safe think about a real world situation if you were in a building and people were attacking it would you take a look outside to see if you could you know put the odds in your favor before uh, they got inside the building of course you would and it's the same thing here so let's play that footage and see what we've got the first difference you'll notice then is I've got my ADS up and I'm also taking that camera out. I'm ready for popular runouts I look and again I'm ADSing straight onto that window and I pick up the headshot so let's just watch that through again so yep you can see straight away I'm thinking about where the enemy might come from I'm ready for them windows I'm already prepared I know the map I know the peaks and I am taking action against those peakers and I think you'll agree it's an easy kill that is the thing about peaking it is taking a risk and now these are all skills that we're going to teach you and hopefully stop that frustration for yourselves of being peaked and being taken out early in the round and you'll see as you get better and better and you get more into the sort of gold high gold levels and I imagine you know platinum and diamond those peaks are going to become fewer and fewer so we'll get into a custom game now we're looking at the Oregon map and what we're going to do is we're going to basically work systematically around the map we're going to look at each spawn point and we're going to move out check out the exterior of the building look at where those possible dangers are and I'm going to tell you my line of thinking and how high I stop getting peaked so the first thing we'll do there we'll move out from the street spawn and I'm just going to hit freeze frame and start highlighting those dangers for you now, as you can see there, we've got some red hazard stripes and yellow hazard stripes, all sort of potential dangers, but I've highlighted my main priority when coming around that corner in red for you. Moving back into real time, then I'm going to head back around the corner as if I've just spawned and I've got X inside who's going to try and peek me as I come around here. So watch what I do. I'm moving around this corner and then I'm straight into my ADS and I'm focusing on what I know to be that priority area. I recognise that there's a window being knocked out, so I put some shots in there just to get X to back off. That gets me safely into cover and just gives me an opportunity for a little breather before I move on. So I'll hit freeze frame there and we're just going to take a look at those next dangers which as you can see here my main priority when I'm moving out from the safety of that white van is the main door. Now let me tell you why that priority has changed from upstairs as we saw previously. It's because I've already had an opportunity to get my scope on that balcony and I've, I know that there's a window been knocked out so I can pay attention to that if I still need to or alternatively I may have already seen that no door or window has been knocked out up there so my main priority now is that 
main door where I know it's really popular for people to just have a look and see if they can get someone on the way in. Moving back to where I was again then, we're just going to do another approach. X is in there, I've no idea where he's going to try and peek me from, but as you'll see, I move round again, I'm straight into that ADS quickly, I'm on the main door, I recognise that there's nothing there, and then I see the little hole punched in the garage door and I can put some shots in to get him to back off. Now, just looking at an alternative route, if you're not going to approach main door, you may choose to sort of still go past the front of the building, but you're heading down to the right so what am I going to do here instead so moving out we'll hit that freeze frame and now we're taking a look at watchtower so we've got three areas that we need to focus on my priority being the top floor window it's the most commonly used in my experience but also just keep an eye on that side door that leads to rear stage as that can be a really nasty little run out uh, very easy to pick up kills but it is a high risk for defenders so it's not too commonly used again then we're going to dip back into cover we're going to have a look at how I would approach this side of the building the advice is largely the same each time you're going to be able to take that away and apply it to any map but X is in there somewhere so let's have a look how I would do this so I'm into ADS I'm paying attention to those danger areas and then as soon as I see the window broken out that's the telltale sign you can listen for the others if you know they're not broken out have a listen put some shots up there X is not too keen to challenge it then moving on to the next spawn we'll look at junkyard and we're going to get through things a little quicker now so a freeze frame we've got the danger areas there you can see I've picked up two red areas this time I've got dorms main hall and I've also got that uh, nasty little peak that's possible from showers the last one it's not used very often but it is still a possibility is the upper window in officers back into cover them and we'll take another look so as if I would just spawned I'm going to approach there straight into ADS I'm focusing on that dorms main hall but also they you can see it's barely visible is that showers peak so definitely look out for that one into cover for the next approach then so we'll freeze frame there and you can see that I've actually marked watchtower as a yellow area here just because of the distance involved unless they've got one of the three speeds with an ACOG up there you should be able to beat them quite easily it's definitely worth checking and be cautious of it but the distance does play into your favour lower office windows Again, very dangerous. I've marked both as red just because of the distance involved. You can be killed so quickly from there. You can see there, just checking all three on approach, see the broken window and put some shots in. So we get into cover behind the water tank, which gives you the opportunity for a reload, as I did there potentially. And then we'll move out and just again, we're watching that watchtower. And then we've also got the lower stage, so sort of rear stage area to watch. And that gets us, if we careful that gets us all the work to cover just keep watching because people can relocate in this area quite easily so watching those other windows there as you can see and that gets us up to the line of the building to safety that brings us on to the last spawn for oregon then construction and i'm going to hit freeze frame almost immediately there's only sort of one real threat uh, from this area because there's no windows on this side of watchtower so we're just looking for that potential run out in front of us the run out had come from rear stage area so just watch for that it's a bit suicidal so it seems to have dropped off a lot but definitely worth paying attention for we get into cover there and we can think about what we do next so what I'm actually going to do is just back off a little bit we've got a freeze frame there where you can see the only other real hazard on a tunnel approach is that tunnel run out so again I've highlighted that there for you and we'll just play the video through and you can see how easy it is to deal with really I move out here you've got the run out normally speaking I'll probably pop X with a headshot there but uh, for sake of the video I'll let him get away this time and that brings us to a close here on Oregon so you can see how easy it is to stop getting peaked really a lot of it is about map knowledge and just knowing where those peaks are likely to come from and how to approach to prevent that the principles that we've taught you in this video are usable on all the maps so we're going to be continuing the series and I'll do one for each map so if you find it useful for me to highlight my priorities of where I'm looking to first then you know come back for more if not take these principles away apply them to all the other maps have a little look in custom games see where you think the likelihood is that people will look from where would you look from you know think about it in those terms and you're going to do much much better at getting into the building so go away give those peakers hell and and tell them that enough is enough sent you. If you've liked the video, please hit like, please hit subscribe. If you tap the bell, you'll get all the notifications, including when we're streaming. We really appreciate your support, guys, and there's so much more to come, so keep watching and come back for more. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.